So I'm just trying to show the um, off angling of um, my kangaroo kung fu, like getting off angle and, and doing the strikes and maybe forwards and backwards and yeah, whatever else sort of happens, we'll see. Um, Alright, so we're here and the punches were coming in, the opponent's back, shoot across, striking so this way, shoot across, this one, strike, strike. Punches, so you could step across, shoot that punch. Also, um, you could step across parry, parry the strike elbow. You could use just use elbows. Come in with an elbow. Step across elbow. Use the arms like blocking with the elbows, covering your head. Come in with an elbow. back fist, use the elbows, come out with a back fist, come out with a punch. Use, use this to block, come over with that, shoot out the forearms. So, Shoot out with a with a back knuckle, back fist. So be here. Power with the arms and come in more with a with a like dropping sort of elbow and come out. So you parry off, strike, parry off, come up, the elbow, parry off, whatever, come in with a more explosive elbow, parry in the hands, whatever it is, come in with the elbow high, strike, grab onto him, knee. I'm just playing with it really. Um, but yeah, you can uh, come across the body. Parry and come up across the body here, strike, hook punch, up cut. If he's close, just grab him and elbow him. You know? Elbow, elbow, knees, rake the face. Claw the face. Claw down the face. There was, um, there was some guy, I think he was a Canadian guy, martial artist. He created this thing called the Shredder. And it's basically a face rake into an elbow. And 
was super nasty and he, he was doing it on a lot of people and uh, in fights and it just it's a fight ender you know you literally strike you could do a you could do a double palm strike so you parry your guy off whatever come in strike to the face rip smash in with the elbow some styles elbow they palm to the side of the face and elbow and rip it down which sort of separates the jaw that's a nasty one but remember the elbow is strong and come up in underneath coming up in underneath the chin like it's just going to make them bite their teeth they probably could even pop a tooth out bust bust teeth up come across the jaw just do it just even doing it just even doing it quick like like you're throwing a little punch, doing it with the elbow, snap, coming up, coming in, coming round, coming that way, back and clear. Use this to clear, clear for a strike. You got your hooks. If you're doing this style, you got your you got your hook, hook punches and back fists. You know, palm, you got palms palms to come over the top and claw. You have a, you could have a claw going on with the back fist straight after it, you know, if you're fast. Obviously in a fight it's gonna be full on, they're just gonna be coming into you, you're gonna get close, it's gonna get like ugly, it's gonna get you know violent, you know you're gonna be fighting for your life or it'll feel like you're fighting for your life. Um, so yeah, like, it's basically like, KISS is the best thing, keep it simple, stupid is the acronym for that, but just so you can keep it simple. That's why a lot of the time I'm just playing with three hits, two hits, two shots into an elbow, two shots into an upper elbow, parries into a strike. Keep this rolling, pop. Keep moving. If you keep moving, you keep keep away. You know they've got to get in within your distance. And if they come in, if they overswing, because if they're just swinging wildly, then you just clean them up with a straight one. You be direct, direct to the head, direct to the head, direct to the body, wherever it is. You know. Even if they come in, even if they come in close and they get to your body and you're like, you sort of fight and you've still got, if you know how to do it, you can still use the body, shoulders, your arms. I mean, you can headbutt if you got to, it's up to you. You know how to use your head. Um, but you can use do strikes, strikes with the forearms, different stuff. So. Um, if, I was, if this was the guy and we were up close, you can actually strike, you can actually strike using your body. So if he's here and I, I've got him here, if you've trained this and conditioned it, you can strike this. Using your forearms. If you get hold of someone and you strike with that other arm, it's pretty. And if you, even if you don't know what you're doing, if you get them, if you get them pretty good and you really give it a good crack, you're gonna knock them out. So yeah, just just play with it. The key is just just playing with this stuff and um, and moving. Shadow sparring playing with different strikes, palms over the top, you know, a palm, a palm strike coming in, you know, we're here, I'll, I'll block, hitting the face, bang, hitting the face, boom, even if he's coming in, and I palm his head backwards, 
that's super nasty and it's moving at speed it's gonna like you know unless you're doing weights on your neck and you're a boxer or whatever you know they might slip it but there's always going to be more but yeah if you get that push on the face another thing too that um, a palm strike or a push like when it comes to legal things in the street of like excessive force or think you know stuff like that a palm strikes a push you could say oh, i push the guy you know i think i've said this sort of stuff before but palms are lethal i mean if you know how to use them they can whip in they can just boom whip you can whip it in you can drop it you can push it in that way you can have the thumb out of the way you can apply it with a wrist or with a wrist strike even to the body somewhere in the body it's nasty like here here underneath in, or in the sternum here that's going to be you know even coming over this way striking here even off even striking with angles with the palms push push into the angle with the palm palms can lead into claws palms can you know be you can palm strike but you can claw in a fight there are no rules it's not in the ring it's not a ring fight so you can palm palm here break bones you can punches coming in you can block them with your elbows that's not going to be nice um yeah so hook punch or whatever's coming in elbow the bicep elbow the shoulder same on the other side okay. elbow the bicep elbow the head or here, even through the bicep into the head while you're in there. You know, bring it up, through, in, got this one. There's just so much you can do. Anyway, I hope uh, I hope you got some stuff out of that. Um, just have a play. Just, uh, I recommend having a boxing bag, um, shadow sparring, not hitting anything, just, just shadow sparring gonna make you fast you're gonna get fluid you're gonna get fluid fluid with your movements you know fluid with your movements whatever it is that you're doing you know play with play with how things feel how 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 the body moves how the body wants to move you know when you hit the bag what what causes the most what what's the most power is it the stepping in with your weight behind it you know like Stuff, or is it like when you twist the body down and you know or is it more like oh, that was not, like when you drop an elbow you know or when you push an elbow you know what's just play with it you know what else can I use oh forearms got forearms to use you know palms Fingers. What does it feel like? What does it feel like when I strike it with my fingers on my or my um edges of my hand or the back of my hand or you know, so just play with it. This is for all the martial artists out there, this is for the people who want to start. Um yeah, just get into it. Um just go for it, you gotta move this body, hey? Okay? All right, look after yourselves.